Is Erling Haaland the greatest player to ever play in the Premier League? It is very, very early to say this, yet from what we've seen, you could start making the assumption that he is on his way to be the greatest player to ever play in the Premier League. Now, you got to think about players that have played in the Premier League. I'm talking about Cristiano Ronaldo, Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp, Frank Lampard, Stevie G. Again, there is a massive list of players that are already ahead of him. But the way things are going for Highland, he could easily, very easily surpass all these players. And from what we've seen in these short few games is something that I don't think anyone could have seen possible. The fact that it only took him eight matches to get three hat tricks, the quickest by far that any player's ever gotten three hat tricks in the Premier League. Michael Owen is the next one on that list. And by looking at the screen, you can see just how far of a gap there is between Erling Highland and Michael Owen. Cristiano Ronaldo is even on this list. Now, yes, it is only some hat tricks. There obviously is so many more things you have to look into. But the fact is, is that how many goals this guy is scoring. I believe he's at 14 right now. The next closest player is Harry Kane right now, who has a comfortable seven goals, which by no means at all is a good number for any striker to have. But looking at him compared to Highland, he's way far behind. The golden boot most likely... That race is over already. I think Highland could almost secure it in the next match. And we still have so many matches to go yet this season. And what we already know with Manchester City is they're a well-oiled machine. They have most arguably the best midfielder in the entire world, Kevin De Bruyne, who can just play an inch-perfect pass to Highland each and every game. He's surrounded by other creative players, Phil Foden, um, Gudion. Um, Silva, just to name again, a few other players, Jack Grealish, you could argue about that, but those players themselves are already phenomenal. And on top of that, he has arguably the best manager to ever manage any team in the entire world, Pep Guardiola. And Pep's even come out and said he really hasn't had to do too much for this player. He already had this talent. So the fact is, he has all this coming towards him that it's going to be mind-boggling what this player can do this entire season and future-wise because obviously Manchester City are going to be the team that most people are going to be competing against. Yes, right now they are not in first place. Arsenal is currently holding that position, but Arsenal has not played Manchester City yet. When that game happens, we can then compare these two teams, but the fact is Manchester City is just a dominant force right now with how many goals they are scoring in Erling Highland is leading that team right now. He's most likely on track to smash Mohamed Salah's record. They had Liverpool with how many goals were scored in a single season. And that's just one record that he may smash this season. On top of that, depending on how things go for Erling Highland at Manchester City, he could possibly become the greatest goal scorer in the Premier League in a very, very short instance. Yes, I know Harry Kane is on track right now to break that record from Alan Shearer. And yes, I know it is a very, very far distance away. But right now, this hype train for Erling Haaland is very, very high. Not just for me, but pretty much anyone in the entire world. If you talk to any sports fan when it comes to this great game, everyone is talking about how great this player is. And again, they rightfully are correct. Because I know when he first came into the Premier League, everyone was talking about how there's no way he's going to be able to adopt to the Premier League. It's too harsh. He won't be able to adopt to Pep Guardiola's style. There's just so many more factors compared to Borussia Dortmund in the Bundesliga. Things are way different. We've seen other Bundesliga players come into the Premier League and completely struggle. Holland is a completely different, different player when it comes to all this, and we've seen it time and time again. The guy just has a natural instinct inside the box. He only needs a yard of space, and we've seen that Again, he can score with his head. He's a freak of nature, can get above any other defender, has the speed to outrun any player, has the strength to beat any defender. He really has no flaws. Yes, you could say maybe he is more dominant on his left foot, but still, if he gets the ball to his right foot, his left foot, you're more likely going to see a goal from this guy if he's inside the box. And therefore, again, I have a feeling if he stays healthy, which again is the big factor when it comes to Erling Highland, if he stays healthy this entire season, 
gets a break from the World Cup because all the players are going to be going away to Qatar for the World Cup where he's going to be at home resting, which means when everyone comes back to the season, everyone is going to be fatigued besides Erling Highland and obviously some players that didn't go to the World Cup. But that alone, again, is going to be tearing or is going to be just terrorizing the entire nation in England because, again, he's going to be rested. He already is dominating the entire league. On top of that, just to have extra rest, it is going to be scary what this guy can do. And being a Chelsea fan, again, I do not want to see him do this well. At the same time, I kind of do want to see him do this well and see what his full potential is. Now, obviously, Manchester City's main goal is going to be the Champions League. Yes, they've won the Premier League multiple times already, and therefore, Holland winning it with them isn't going to be a big accomplishment because they could do it without him. Their main goal is the Champions League. So, yes, if he goes on and smashes all these records, there is going to be a little bit of bias if they do not win the Champions League, whether it is this year or next year. That is going to be the big takeaway, and which is why Erling Haaland was brought into Manchester City. Yes, I know I love seeing him score goals against Manchester United. Loved watching him score a hat trick and also assisting two goals to Phil Thorne. But still, the main topic is going to be about them winning the Champions League. But again, if that happens, Highland then just even elevates his status even more if he helps Manchester City win their first Champions League. So again, we have a long season to go yet, but really, early Highland is already stepping into the boots that people thought he was going to, and he's going above and beyond for the most part. So that is all I have in this video today on Erling Highland, and I personally think he could possibly go on to be one of the best strikers to ever play this game, not just in the Premier League, but also in the entire world. And yes, that is comparing him to some elite players like Messi, like Ronaldo, like the original Ronaldo and some other players along those lines. But again, 22 years old, has a long, long career ahead of him. Pep Guardiola, Kevin De Bruyne, and all these other players around him. He could do a lot this season and for his entire career. So that is all I have for you. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. Help keep this video to more and more fans such as yourself. And also comment down below what you think about him. If you think he's going to be one of the best players to ever play this game. I want to know what you guys think. So that is it. And I will see you next time.